In this video, we will try to understand how the direction control wall works. The function of direction control wall is to direct the flow of working fluid to the various places in the system. The direction control wall can be one way wall that is check wall or shuttle wall or two way direction control wall, three way and four way direction control wall. Each of these particular walls can be operated either manually, mechanically, electrically or by some pilot arrangement. Let us try to understand the working of the first wall that is two way, two position direction control wall as shown over here. So it is having the wall body spool with spool rod, the ports P and A they are shown over here. The fluid enters the port P and for the given position of the spool, the flow will take place from P to A as shown over here. And on the symbol also, we can show this. So from port P to port A, the flow is taking place that is indicated by this left envelope mode of the symbol. Now when this spool is operated in such a way that it moves towards the right, then So as you can see over here, when it moves towards right, it will block this port. So the fluid cannot enter from, the flow can't take place from port P to port A. So it is a block position. So that is indicated over here. So port P and A, they are blocked. So in this way, two way, two position direction control wall works. The two way stands for port P and A. So, and the two positions are this particular left envelope and this right envelope mode. So in the left envelope mode, as we have already seen, the flow is taking place from P to A. Whereas in case of the right envelope mode, the ports, both these ports, that is pump port or pressure port and the cylinder port A, both are blocked. So there are two ways, P and A, and two position left and right envelope mode. Let us try to understand the working of three-way, two-position direction control wall. So, as you can see over here, the flow will take place from port P to port A. And for this particular position of the spool, which is spring operated or rather spring control, this particular port is blocked because of the position of this spool. So, we can say that the reservoir port R is blocked over here. So that is indicated on this symbol. So as you can see over here, the flow will take place from P to A that is indicated by this arrow from P to A, whereas the reservoir port R is blocked. So that is indicated by this block position. So from P to A and R is blocked. Now, if we operate or if we move this spool manually, or electrically towards right then it will compress this spring and what will happen that we will see in the next position. Now as indicated over here this is the symbol for manual, manually operated and spring control direction control wall. So when we operate this spool towards right then the spring will get compressed and the position of this spool is such that this port is blocked. So now the flow can take place from port A to the port R, whereas the pump port P is blocked over here. And that is indicated on this symbol also. So as you can see over here, the flow is taking place from A to R. That is indicated by this arrow over here, whereas the port P is blocked. So in this way, we are having three ways, that is port P, A and R and two position, that is left envelope and right envelope mode. And therefore, this is known as three way, two position direction control wall. Now, let us try to understand the 
working of four way two position direction control valve for the given particular position we are having the spool at the extreme right side so this is the spool along with this spool rod and it is at the extreme right side and you can see over here because of the position of this spool this internal passage is blocked so in this particular case the fluid will enter from pump port or pressure port p and the flow will take place from p towards cylinder port that is a similarly the flow can take place from the cylinder port b to the reservoir port r and that is indicated in this particular left envelope mode so from p to a as we have already seen the flow is taking place from p to a like this and from b to r so the flow is taking place from b to r so that is indicated over here in the left envelope mode and again this is manually operated spring control direction control valve so it is having four ports that is p a b and r therefore it is a four way and there are two position that is the left envelope and right envelope mode so let us see what will happen when we push this in the towards left this particular spool the spring will get compressed and now the flow will take place so through this internal passage the flow is taking place from a it will come over here will fill this entire passage and through this passage it will go to the reservoir port r so the flow is taking place from a to r similarly the flow can take place from p to b also so from p the flow will take place to b so that is indicated in the right envelope mode so from p to b the flow is taking place that is just now we have seen and from a to r also so that is indicated by this particular arrow so in this way the working of four way two position direction control valve will take place now let us see the operation of four way three position direction control valve and in this particular case we have used the rotary spool as you can see over here the flow is taking place from port p the flow will come over here and through this internal passage it will go to the port a similarly from port b the flow can take place from this cylinder port b it will come over here and from this through this particular passage it will go to the reservoir port r as indicated over here so this is the rotary spool which is shown by this hatch line and it can be moved in any direction so it can be rotated in clockwise or anti clockwise direction suppose we rotate it in the anti clockwise direction then what will happen that we will see in the next position but first try to understand this particular left envelope mode so as we have already seen the flow is taking place from p towards a that is the pump port p to cylinder port a so that is indicated by this arrow from p to a in the left envelope mode then from b to r so that is also indicated by this particular downward arrow so this is our left envelope mode so there are four ways that is p a b and r these are the ports so it is four way and there are three positions this is the left envelope mode this is the neutral position and this is the right envelope mode so let us see what will happen in the neutral position suppose we operate the spool in such a way that it will cause the ports to block for example the flow can take place from this pump port p through this internal passage it can enter over here
but it cannot go to the port A because this is block position. So here the port is blocked by this pull. So it cannot go from P to A. Similarly, if the fluid wants to flow from reservoir port R, then it can come up to this point, but it cannot go to the port B because it is blocked over here. So you can see this blocking of by this pool. The port is not open over here. So port P is blocked. So that is indicated by these positions. So you can say that this is a neutral position where all the ports that is P, A, B and R they are blocked and that is known as the neutral position. Now when we further rotate the spool in such a way that we can have the flow that is taking place from the port P come from this port P then and it will go to this particular port that is B. So the flow is taking place in this particular direction. Similarly, from A also it can go to the reservoir port R. So from A the flow can take place, it will come over here and from this it can go to the port R. So that is indicated in the right envelope mode. So from P to B and then from A to R. So in this way, four-way, three-position direction control valve also works.